Well, I got them oak boards tarred on both sides, and now I'm let, I let them sit in the sun yesterday. Then I rolled them over. I'm gonna let them sit today for a while, and then roll them over again. And keep doing that until I get that stuff pretty well baked in. But in the meantime, another thing I had to get dried or <laughs> somewhat dry is this hemp. You know, I've talked about this before. I got a lot of this up here. You know, this grows wild from back in the day when they used to grow it for the war effort. You know, they had planted big fields of it. There's still a lot of it that grows wild around here. Well, I had a bunch of it in the yard. There's some big weeds that grew up. And some of this stuff was mixed in with it. Well, I was going to cut down them weeds because it's a lot of like burn weed and burrs and whatnot. So before I cut them down, I wanted to get these out of here. You know, so I don't, because I, I have use for this fiber. You know, some of them, that, it's a good piece. Well, okay. Yeah, this is the one right here. When I cut him off, I yanked him out. And I <laughs> stripped off a piece as I was pulling it out. And this is kind of what the fiber looks like. Yeah, the outside is where the fiber is. But tough stuff. So, you know, I just gotta dry this down and then break it. You know, you crack the outside. But and then there, you, there is a, a redding process where you can throw them in, like I'll bundle them up, throw them in the stock pond, soak them, get the, the pulpy stuff, because it's actually kind of woody inside. You know, actually even hollow. But you got to get this stuff softened up, and that'll soften up. Then you can break it, kind of crushes it, then strip that outside off. But good fiber. What I'm using it for is to uh, mix in with mortar for chinking. Works like a reinforcing kind of thing. They used to use flax. You know, the fibers from that. But I've got plenty of hemp, very little flax. So I'm making up a bunch of that. I should leave this piece out and dry. You know, maybe. This stuff is incredibly strong. You know, if you braid three strands of this together you just cannot break it. it it's it's really good fiber but i usually i chop it up fairly short i need pieces about that long to use as the reinforcing kind of but i'll get this stuff all dried down but it's funny because people see this you know <laughs> Like one time I had some guys bring up some old railroad ties for fence posts. Oh my, and this just enthused them. You know, you see a perfect looking leaf like that. Ooh, they like that. But that's just garbage. I, I'm looking for the stem. And, and I'm actually trying this year. You know, you get these big ones that are kind of hard to handle. I think I can get more fiber easily out of these thinner ones without that big heavy core well we'll see yeah, I'm still experimenting with it but I got a need for some now because you take that stuff the fibers and mix it with pine tar you get a kind of an oakum you know that you can pound in to seal sailing ships that sort of thing but I've got a need for and I'm out of that for ceiling. So that's another project. But it, when it's hot like this, she should dry down pretty fast. Then it's a lot easier to handle when you don't have all that bulk on there. 